this protest today was an important um, landmark. The Act for America is uh, the largest anti-Muslim hate group in the country. They have very close ties with the Trump administration. This was not about Sharia law. This was about uh, banning Islam. They want Islam classified as a political ideology, so it's not subject to freedom of religion. Uh, constitutional rights, and other, they and other supporters of Trump, big time supporters of Trump, are publicly lobbying for Muslim internment. They are citing the internment of Japanese Americans. And even where uh, commentators disagree with that, that is normalizing fascism. To act like that is a reasonable position that you can debate. No, it is completely fascist. So we were at the People's Summit yesterday to talk about that. Um, um, and we were really uh, urging people to come today. Look, at, take a break from this, okay? We didn't choose this state. They chose it, the fascists do. But if we don't stand up to them every time, just honestly, especially in a city like Chicago, I'm just calling on people at the People's Summit to come to grips with this and uh, not pretend that uh, we're going to build a better world without stopping the fascism. I didn't make it last year, but I was taken aback by how there's like 25 different permutations of Bernie Sanders supporters. And I understand they're organizing the conference, but um, it's, it's a Sanders summit, it's not a people summit. Ignoring it is just uh, giving, um, disarming people from actually understanding what needs to happen. We can't wish them away. And if we don't confront the reality, you know what, we're going to be like the good Germans. Everybody says, oh, why didn't those Germans stand up? Why didn't they stop Hitler? Well, now it's on us. It wasn't easy then, and it's not going to be.